good morning today it's sunday september 15 and it's almost 8 20 a.m so i'm gonna do my makeup for pilates i'm gonna leave maybe around like nine for pilates so that's my plan um so i'm just gonna do like a basic makeup look because i'm still gonna work out and there's no point for me to like do an excessive makeup look so i'm just gonna do something simple and pilates is at 9 30 so it's just a normal pilates sculpt class like I usually do, I go to these classes like maybe twice a week. The first thing I'll do is put on these sun drops from Glow Recipe. These give such a nice tint to my skin. I just put a couple drops here. Okay, so that's good. And I also self tan so it kind of evens the tone. Next thing is concealer. I use this Hourglass Concealer. And I put some only on the areas that I need. And I take my beauty blender. So I just washed it yesterday. So it's kind of like damp. Which makes it really easy to blend. But even then, like it just kind of makes it patchy sometimes. Concealer is done. Now I'm going to move on with cream blush. So this one is by Anastasia. And I'm just going to take this brush by Refi. And I use only a tiny bit. Because this one is like actually so pigmented like only a little bit of product does such a good job so i only focus it like on the top of my cheek like that the next thing is my refi cream blush and this is shade bloom so it's like a light pink and i'm just gonna use the same brush as i did before and this one it is pigmented but And now it's time for powder. So I have two powders. I have this one, which is Skin Toned by Charlotte Tilbury. So this one is my skin tone, and I just use it for areas that I need a little bit more coverage. I'm going to use this little Morphe kind of beauty blender, but more for powder. So I'm just going to dip it in, and I'm going to set the areas that are a bit more oily. Especially when I work out, I just want like... I don't want to look really oily after, so I just put a lot of it. And for my actual setting powder, I use this Huda Beauty setting powder in the shade Cupcake. Yeah, when there's none on top, I just like close the lid and shake it and then it just comes up. I'm going to take a lot of it. I'm going to press it in my hand. So I just set my under eyes and also like on my nose. Because I will bronze here later and I don't want it to be like sticky. So the bronzer can just evenly like spread out, let's say. So that's that for setting powder and for bronzer i use this dior forever natural bronze so i took a lighter shade because i'm not really dark anyways and i like to put a lot of it so i don't want it to be like too concentrated so i just use this angled brush and i put some like literally over the cream bronzer Then for my powder blush, I use this Dior Rosy Glow. And you guys know I'm obsessed with this color. It's just so pretty. I did kind of mess it up with my other blush because I used the same brush. So I'm just going to use like a different one. I'm going to use this brush now. So this one is just like a regular Sephora brush. This one is kind of tough to pick it up because it's not really pigmented. But you can see. And I'm just going to put some over the cream, the cream blush like before. And literally my makeup is so natural. You can't really tell right now that I have makeup on. Especially when I'm going to go work out. I don't want something like too extra, you know. Next is highlighter. And I use this Moon Crush highlighter from Too Faced in the shade Shooting Star. And I take this little highlighter brush. Now, I tried to find these big fan brushes for highlighter, but I never managed to find any. And honestly, it's not a need, it's just a want. Like, I want to try it, but I don't need it. And I put highlighter, like, in the inner corners of my eyes, on my cheeks, on my nose. I just find it so pretty when the sun hits, and you can just see all the glitter. The next step is brow gel. I use this Refi Clear Brow Gel and I really like it because it's just clear and it really sets my brows in place for the whole day. Sometimes the brow gel will kind of like flake, but this one does not flake. It really just sticks to my brows in for the whole day. And yeah, so I will not use, I don't think I'll use my brow pencil. I don't know. 
I'm not sure. But anyways, I'm gonna use mascara. While this dries, I'm just gonna use mascara. So I use this Refi Mascara for the bottom lash because this one is, the brush is curved. So what I do is that I take my mirror from my Too Faced palette because I feel like it's just, I want a closer view of what I'm doing. It's literally curved perfectly like my eyes, so I just drag it down. Bottom lashes are done. Now for the top, I always curl my lashes. So that's what I'm gonna do. Once it's curled, I'm going to use my YSL mascara. And one coat is enough, but I always like to have two coats to be sure. And at school, I also have a mascara in my locker. You never know when you just need a touch up. I always touch up my makeup at school. The last step is my brow pomade. So I'm going to take this and... I'm literally just gonna brush it up my brows like that. So this one is by Refi and it's also the shade light because I do have like light brown hair and I'd rather and I would rather have it too light than too dark because that'd just be weird. But yeah. And I also focus it like here. Notice I have less brow hairs on the left side than the right side. And I maybe it's my thing, but I just fill it in like this. And I also focus it on the tail. So it doesn't make that much of a difference, but I just like how it fills in the blanks. And yeah. So the last step is like lips. I'm good. Honestly, that looks fine. I always have my road lip balm in my phone anyways literally that's my phone and i just love how i always have some lip balm with me so i don't need to do my lips and for my hair i will just like leave it as is because that looks good by itself honestly that looks really good so for pilates i'll just tie it up in a ponytail and to go there i'm gonna put on my cap so that's it for the makeup look that's what i typically go for when i go work out or i have like a really short day at school and yeah so that's basically like my no foundation makeup look usually i put on foundation but again since i'm going to pilates there's no point for me to wear foundation if i'm just gonna sweat it out anyways um but when i have setting powder my concealer does last again that's my makeup look without foundation and i feel like it just looks really good really natural that could also be my everyday look that's my outfit to go to pilates so i have these little shorts from aloe this shirt from aritzia and i also have some gold jewelry so i can literally wear jewelry to pilates it will not change anything but yeah that's my look guys i just finished with breakfast and i had oats with yogurt and strawberries it was really good so and now i'm gonna do my bag for pilates i will use my aloe bag so you got this bag so i get this bag when i spend over like a certain amount of aloe i love aloe so in my bag i already got a few things like i have my wallet um hand sanitizer my keys um, my airpods and a hair clip so for the rest, I'm just gonna pack, um, I don't need these because I'm already gonna have like, I don't know, they're low on battery, so maybe. I'm gonna have a granola bar, so these ones are so good, um, they're by Make Good, and I'm pretty sure they're vegan, yeah, they're vegan, and they're really healthy, it's organic, I get these in the organic section at the grocery store, or directly from the organic grocery store, and I'm also gonna bring my cap, so... It's really sunny outside, it's a beautiful day. And I'm gonna bring this. And my phone, of course. So 
so that's all I need. Oh yeah, my water bottle and the hair elastic. So I'll go get that. I'm gonna bring my Stanley. And I literally lost the straw, so I just got new ones. I'm also gonna bring my scrunchie. And I'm pretty much ready to go. By the way, I'm gonna wear these shoes. I'm gonna wear my New Balance shoes. So that's my final Pilates outfit. Got my bag and my water bottle and my shoes. That's just so cute and I'm gonna leave so I'll bring you with me of course. That's the final fit Such a beautiful day outside today. Like we're in September and the fall vibes are not really there yet It just looks like summer, but I also have my aloe socks with me if you can see and class starts in like 15 minutes so that's my fit and I just tied my hair up after that I'm probably gonna go take a long walk to get my steps in and yeah Pilates was great, I just finished my class and now I'm gonna walk to go get myself a matcha or coffee I'm not really sure but I'm just gonna walk, it's like 10 minutes I'm in Griffin Town and I'm gonna go walk downtown to get myself my drink and I was hesitating for like a smoothie or a matcha but I'm not really that hungry so I'm just gonna get a matcha I just came back home and I'm just gonna like unpack my bag and get ready to do the rest of the things for the day um, that was basically like a morning in my life vlog I hope you liked it and stay tuned for more videos coming up I really love doing these vlogs because like on a Sunday I typically do like a self-care slash reset day and yeah so stay tuned for more videos by subscribing and let's get to like 2.5k that would be really cool so yeah thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next vlog bye